What's up, followers and likers of the Finders of the Forgotten? Uh, just running a couple test videos on my GoPro just to see how it sounds. And I'm just going to generally talk about some things, um, show you a couple of my finds that I have found in 2020, which year sucked. Alright, so one of my first favorite cool finds is this Crotal Bell with the dinger inside. It was an intact Crotal Bell. Um, found it at 1800's home site. Pretty cool. Uh, the year progressed. I went to another 1800's home site. Found this Crotal Bell. It was not intact though. But I think it's cool because when you look at it from the top side, looks like there's a smiley face. No dinger. Uh, but some cool ornate stuff on the bell. I need to get some better light. Uh, let's see what else have I found. 2020. This is another cool find. This is a 1940s chauffeur's license. Um, this is what they would wear for taxi cab drivers and limousine drivers and all that stuff. Found it in the ground. Um, home site was gone. Uh, talked to the, the homeowner, uh, was in his family for years, but he does not remember anybody having this. Uh, the unique thing about that is it's completely intact with the pin. Kind of cool. Um, <laughs> the dog tag that got licked. Uh, Dennis and I were at a home site, and uh, it always happens that somebody comes up and says, Hey, what you find? What you got going on? You know, all that kind of stuff. As we're sitting there, and I, I open my finds box, which I don't have it down here, open my finds box up, and this guy just reaches in and snaps this thing out of my finds box. He's like, I lived here all my life. Might have been to my dog, cause this is, a, and I told him this is a dog tag. I said, sir, I don't think this was your dog tag. He's like, I lived here my whole life. Gentleman was probably about 56 years old. Um, I don't know if you can see the date on that. Let's see if we can get a date on it. Oop, camera's weird. Camera's weird. Here we go. There we go. That's a one nine two four nineteen twenty four. If this was his dog, he'd be near next to a hundred years old. So I don't think quite think it was this. So, anyways, he proceeds to clean it off because then he's arguing with me that it's his dog tag. I said, okay. So then he licks it. He licked this thing. Took his thumb. Yeah. Well, I guess it is 1924. <laughs> okay, here you go. <laughs> I was like, ooh, just put it back in, please. Thanks. So I came home, sanitized it, let it sit for quite some time. But still, another one of my cool finds I like. You know, anything with a date is always awesome, but historical value is a monument. Um, definitely go into some uh, monetary stuff that we've found over the last year. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't have my other ones down here, but I do have. Let's see here. You can see the date on this guy. So this is what's called a large cent. This is an 1840s large cent. Um, I want to say a matron head is what they call them. I need to get a better light down here. Because I have a feeling I can do some cool blogs down here. Uh, but on the back, he cleared say one cent. It is not a brothel coin. If you know what a brothel coin is, get extra bonus points. Hmm. This is probably one of the coolest finds, uh, too. I got all little things that I keep forgetting about and then I come up to. Um, anyways, this is, uh, this was found in the area of East Liverpool, Ohio. At a farmhouse. 
Um, it was smashed on the side, so it took me a while to identify and uh, and look up. But it ended up being a bank down in downtown East Liverpool, and this was the um, anniversary token in 1909 that they handed out. Uh, it was lost, of course, and then I found it. But in research, this bank burnt down in like 1929, and they never rebuilt it. There are still pictures of this bank and this coin. So, cool find. Let's see here. It's pretty cool show and tell here. Ooh. What I believe to be is a miner's tag, but there's no identifying markers on it other than the number eight, so I can't really call it too much. Um, all right, then we'll go into uh, we'll go into the rings. First ring I ever found. I've only been metal detecting for a year. I was at uh, an old schoolyard that was torn down. Now it's a park. Been uh, hit. It, it's been hit years for years. Uh, that's one of the classic things, you know, it's never hunted out. The area is never hunted out. First adventure out, I found this guy. It's a tungsten ring of some sort. And on the inscription, it says, uh, wherever you are, or yeah, yeah, wherever you are, you will always be in my heart. Oh, but apparently it said F you and threw the ring away. No, it probably fell off, but it's a um, saying from Gandhi. It says Gandhi in there. I don't know, my thumb's in the way. And that's a pretty cool ring. Um, another 1800s uh, home saw. Found this little child's ring, little child girl ring. I mean, this thing doesn't even fit on my pinky. That's how tiny that guy is. Uh, and I'm not quite sure of the metal makeup. It's not silver. Uh, and I don't know the year. I've never been able to define, uh, identify or any find any identifying markers. Um, found this at a... A uh, farm home that was uh, in the family for hundreds of years. Um, dug it up. Nobody uh, heard of anybody losing a wedding ring. So I got to keep it. So that's pretty cool. But I definitely wanted to see if they wanted it back. You know, that's pretty cool. We like to recover stuff. Um, but that's pretty cool. Man's wedding ring. Another ring, I don't even know. It's like a copper ring with the gold gilting. Another ring I haven't really been able to identify. Hmm. Ooh, this is pretty cool. This is like my board of fun finds. Um, this took me a while to identify. I had to uh, research online and... Um, this is a fox, like a, a early 1900s, late 1800s fox, like spectacle buckle. This isn't like the real thing from the colonial, but this is something that they still wore in the uh, early 1900s and the late 1800s. It's kind of cool. I'll keep around. It was a it was a stellar year for me. Um, I didn't even know what my bucket lists were going to be um, until I started finding them. And I was like, oh, that's really why I'm in this hobby. And this is one that was cool, too. Uh, it was late. Uh, it was actually mid-morning hunt. Dennis and I were on. We were about ready to leave, and I started investigating this, like, log pile. Where we were at, they had logs, and there were some piles. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go cruise over here. And then this started ringing up. That's an intact skeleton key. How cool is that? Uh, okay. Well, I think that uh, there's plenty more finds on the board here. I could go on all night, to be honest with you. Here's a little modern find. My son likes this one. A little Call of Duty-like token. I'm not quite sure that what that is. Ooh. That is a makeup tube. I have not been able to open it up, but it feels full, like it was a brand new makeup tube. Makeup tube. This is uh, this is how they packaged them and sold them in like the early 1900s. And, uh, from what I could research, like 1910 to 1940, some makeup companies were still making them in this tube after that, but with this specific design on it, it was like 1910s, 1940, somewhere around there. It has a B on it. And I think that meant the color, but I'm not quite sure. Still can't get it open. Alright. Until next time. Have a good night.